Can you believe I got Mike Johnson and those other idiots from Congress to show up at court for me? These idiots are so easily manipulated. It's like taking candy from a baby. I've never taken candy from a baby, but I bet it's easy. Probably very, very easy. And I'd like to wish Judge Cannon a stupendously happy Mother's Day. As many people know, my case in Florida has been postponed indefinitely, and the DOJ can do nothing about it. I sent Judge Cannon chocolate classified documents as a well-deserved thank you. She's not my type, but whatever it takes. Hey folks, did you catch Moscow Marjorie trying to remove the speaker, Mike Johnson, from his position last week? Do you know what disturbs me more than anything about that woman? There are people in Georgia right now that will still vote for her. She is a wacko, just Donald Trump's type. If one more person asks me if I'm gonna accept the outcome of the 2024 election, I'm gonna scream. The answer is absolutely if I win. Otherwise, it's obviously rigged. Just like the 2020 election was obviously rigged, there was no way I could lose. I was so far ahead, rigged, rigged. And of course, I can't wait for this debate. Fake News is hosting it, but I will take over in two seconds flat. I have a very large ass that I can pull ridiculous conspiracy and fake news stories from. Biden, on the other hand, is skinny as a rail. He's all about the truth. He'll never survive me. Um, proud boys, stand back and stand by. Um, Neo-Nazis, stand back and stand by. KKK, stand back and stand by. Putin, stand back and stand by. I can't wait till they ask me that question in the next debate. Folks, I will bet you $100, 100 smackaroos that Donald J. Trump chickens out. I bet he backs out of these debates. Why? Because he's a spineless, idiotic bully. Write that down and I will pay my debts if I'm wrong. You know, I was asking some of my Secret Service guys if they knew if there might be a way I could get a gravel pit behind the White House in case I win. I was thinking, what a smart, efficient way to fire people who don't promise their loyalty or disparage me in any way, trying to save taxpayer money. You know, I was asking some of my Secret Service guys if they knew if there might be a way I could get a gravel pit behind the White House in case I win. I was thinking, what a smart, efficient way to fire people who don't promise their loyalty or disparage me in any way, trying to save taxpayer money.